I'm back. You have been asking a lot of questions under my videos about Freestyle Libre. In this one, I will respond to the questions that you ask the most. So if you want to boost your Libre 2 knowledge, keep watching. Let's go! My name is Tom and I'm type 1 diabetic. On this channel, I share my diabetes journey with you. I've been type 1 for 32 years and this is type 1 talks. If you want to become a part of type 1 talks community, consider subscribing and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. But now let's get to your questions. I start with the ones that you ask the most and I will end with the ones that were more unique or some of them even more funny. If you want to skip within individual questions, you can do that using timestamps under the video. Scott asks, is it necessary to buy the Libre Reader or is it possible to only buy the sensors and set them up with iPhone or Android app? Yes, you can use the Freestyle Libre Link app on your Android phone or on your iPhone. You don't need to buy the reader. Actually, I use the phone most often. Joey asked, Thomas, is this mobile app definitely working for Libre 2? I live in Germany and I'm not sure. So Joey, yes, it does work for both Libre 1 and Libre 2 in Germany. You can just download the app from the German App Store or a Play Store for Android phones. I live in Switzerland and I downloaded this app from the Swiss Apple Store. However, talking to the users from Germany, I, I know that you should not have any problems using the local app with the second generation of Freestyle Libre. For those living in other countries, please check your local app store or um, Android store just to make sure that the app you have is compatible with the second generation of Freestyle Libre, especially when you import a second generation of Freestyle Libre from another country. Abdi or Abdi asked, what if you have the Libre 2 reader? Can you use the Libre 1 sensors? Well, unfortunately not. The Libre 2 reader does not communicate with Libre 1 sensors and the other way around. So the Libre 1 reader does not communicate with the Libre 2 sensors. So you always need the black reader if you have the first generation of Freestyle Libre sensors and you need a blue reader when you're using the second generation of Freestyle Libre sensors. Personally, I much prefer the app on the phone that works with both generations and you don't need to worry about which reader you carry with you. You just have your phone and don't even need the reader. So forget about the reader. Tripping on a nutmeg asks, does anyone know if Libre 2 work with Xtrip? Yes, it does. Uh, by the way, Xtrip is a very popular third-party app. It's popular amongst Android users. So if you have a phone with Android, definitely go check out the Xtrip app that gives you many more options than the standard Freestyle Libre Link app. Equivalent for iPhone users is the Spike app. So if you have iPhone, check out the Spike app. I included the links to all these apps in the descriptions below. Alistar says, the best education ever on Freestyle Libre 2 system. Many thanks. Well, thanks Alistair, that's really nice of you to say. The question that Alistair asks is, what wireless technology is used to connect the sensor with the reader? Freestyle Libre second generation use both Bluetooth and NFC. Uh, you just need to make sure that Bluetooth is activated on your mobile phone to be able to scan and get the readings. David says, Hi, thanks for this awesome video and spreading awareness. Do you have any video about working the Knight Rider on Freestyle Libre Sensor 2? Many people on social media talk about it. Please share or will you upload in the future? Actually, David, um, I'm testing the Bluecon Knight Rider right now and I will be releasing a video in the coming days. So stay tuned. If you want to check the Knight Rider right away, I included a link in the description below that gives you a $10 uh, discount on any purchase. Diabetes SK3 says, I see you're wearing Apple Watch. Do you use it for your diabetes? If yes, how you connect it with Libre 2? So Diabetes SA3, currently it is not possible to connect Apple Watch to your Libre using the standard Libre Link app. 
However, you can do it with the BlueCon Knight Rider and their Link BlueCon app from Ambrosia. So, so that works. And how I use it is uh, I use my Apple Watch for my workouts uh, just because it's, it's way easier to check my blood sugar during the workout on my, on my watch rather than my phone. I don't always carry the phone with me during my workout. So that's how I use the Apple Watch to, to manage my diabetes. Uh, otherwise, I don't. I don't really use it that much specifically for, for diabetes and I'm not even wearing it today as, as you can see. Denise says, Tom, hi, hope all is well. One thing I wanted to ask you with the alarms, why to have them if you have to scan before you get any readings? I am interested in getting the Libre, but I worry about when you're sleeping your levels go really low. Well, that's a, that's a great question and um, with Librate 2 you will actually be automatically alerted when your blood sugar goes outside of the range. You can set the range yourself for whatever you want it to be and if you want you can check a video here that I made. I will also put it in the description below where I specifically talk about how to set the alarms for your Librate 2. For me the alarm is loud enough to wake me up while I sleep and then I just scan uh, with my phone to see the actual uh, blood sugar level, uh, which is usually low when, when I get this alarm at night. Leroy says, my time in the bedroom is over eight hours. Will the new Librate 2 system fill in the readings over Bluetooth if we do not scan within eight hours? Um, so yeah, Leroy, that's great that you spent more than eight hours in the bedroom. I would also like to do that and to, to answer your question. No, if you do not scan within eight hours, um, you might lose the data. So you only get data for the past eight hours, as I talked about before in uh, my other videos. You can avoid um, losing the data using one of the third-party apps like Meow Meow or uh, Blue Con Knight Rider. These basically fill in your data like a CGM style and you don't need to go and, and scan every eight hours. You just have the reading and everything is saved in their specific apps that come with these devices. Uh, I included uh, links to both of these third-party apps Blue Con Knight Rider and Meow Meow in the description below and using those you get a $10 discount for your purchase. What these apps also do, they give you additional alarms. For example, when your blood sugar is uh, dropping sharply or rising sharply, and that's on top or in addition to what uh, Libre Link app gives you. David asks, if you get an alarm, scan and act, can you still set a reminder to rescan in, for example, 15 minutes? To check sugar is correcting like on Freestyle Libre 1. Yes, David, that's exactly the same on Freestyle Libre 2. When you get the alarm, you you act, you can at the same time say that you want to get a reminder to check again in 15 minutes and you will get a notification on your reader or on your phone so that you check again and, um, and see what your blood sugar has been doing in these 15 minutes and if you need to do a little bit more. Lukas says, can you share your experience on the maximum distance between sensor and the receiver or the phone for the alarms to work? Oh, that's a, that's a really interesting question, Lukas. Um, my experience has been that the receiver and the sensor kind of need to be in the same room for it to work properly. I think the distance is five meters would be okay. Uh, when I have my reader in the kitchen and my sensor is on me in the living area, it kind of works, it's just fine. But whenever I move to a different room in my apartment from where the reader is, then I'm not getting the alarms anymore and the signal is getting lost. So I would say five, six meters is okay. But generally, I would recommend to be in the same room to be on the safe side. Uh, John G is asking, does the adhesive still melt flesh? It didn't melt mine. If someone else has a different experience, please comment below. Okay. David says, hey, thanks a lot for sharing this video. 
do I need a prescription from my physician? Generally speaking, you don't need a prescription. I have also purchased directly from the Abbott Freestyle Libre German website without any prescription. However, if in your country you can get a prescription, I would definitely recommend doing that. That's what I usually do so that I don't have to pay for the sensors out of pocket. David also asks, how long does the sensor last? The sensor official lifetime is 14 days. Um, using some of the third-party apps and third-party devices with, with Libre, you can extend the life by a few hours. However, no, I, I cannot guarantee this is the safest option. The official lifetime is 14 days or two weeks. Then uh, the sensor stops giving any data. Dilara says, Thank you very much for the information you provided. I'm writing from Turkey. How can we supply the sensor to Turkey? Can you show me the way? There are acquaintances in Germany. Is it possible to redirect to a number or a website? Yes, Dilara, the website that I ordered from in the past is the official German Freestyle Libre website. The address is freestylelibre.de and when you order from the German website, the thing that you need is a delivery address in Germany. So if you have friends or family who live in Germany, who you can have it shipped to, uh, that's ideal. Basically what they can do when they receive the package with the sensor, they can forward it to you wherever, wherever you are. So that way it should work. But you need an address in Germany if you want to order from the German website. And now here comes the question that I don't really know the answer to. <laughs> and this is the question that a lot of people are asking. When will Libre 2 be available in my country? What I can tell you now is Libre 2 is available in Germany, Spain, France, Switzerland, Norway, and New Zealand. It is expected to arrive in the UK soon. I think in the UK there is a trial going on now, so the Freestyle Libre should be released in the UK relatively soon. It is currently not available in Canada. US, um, uh, Australia. I'm specifically mentioning these countries because I know I have a lot of viewers from these countries that have been waiting for Libre 2 to come to their countries. So fingers crossed for you guys to get Libre 2 soon approved by your FDA or whatever organization there is in your country so that you can start using it. For me, it's been, it's been a great improvement uh, going from Freestyle Libre 1 to the second generation. Uh, Jane says, hey bro, thanks for such a helpful video. Would you like to communicate over email? Could you please share your email ID for further communications? To get my email address, uh, you need to go to my YouTube channel site, click about and click view email address. That's how you can send me an email and I'll be happy to uh, read through any emails and uh, respond to you either through a video or directly via email if you want your identity to be to be kept private. By the way, please let me know if you like this Q&A format of a video. It's first time I'm doing this um, real time responding to your questions. So let me know thumbs up or thumbs down if you like this format and if you would like to see it more often. If you want to learn more about Freestyle Libre 2, check one of the two videos on the screen right now and by doing that you will support my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.